Another characteristic of digitalization is that digital networks allow for poorly directional communication. I, I use this word for frankly for the lack of a better word. So what do I mean by polydirectionality? Well, traditionally, uh, the communication happened either one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, or many-to-many. So for example, you had a phone conversation or a personal letter or, or a face-to-face -face conversation, which you had one-to-one. -one. So one person was communicated to another person. Then you had some technologies and settings where you could communicate from one to many, for example, broadcasting media, a traditionally means to communicate from one to many, but also books, for example, or newspapers allowed for the communication from one to many. Then there are also some kind of communication channels that allow communication from many to one, for example, elections or applause or a survey or an auction are communication channels that allow from many to one. And then there's also communication from many to many. For example, a notice board, a meeting, a gathering uh, that allowed for many to many communication. Digital networks allow for all of them selectively. So you can use a social media site to write somebody a message one to one. You can broadcast something from one to many by posting something on a social media site. You can get feedback from many to one. For example, you receive likes or dislikes on a post and you can have a conversation many to many. There are some people commenting on your post, many others are commenting and a real discussion is going on. So digital networks allow for that you choose in this poorly directional way of choices which one best fits your communication need.